Hello, I'm John Rykowski from Outfront Motorsports here to explain our closed deck block uh, procedure and the benefits uh, from having our closed deck block. We're here with the Mark Yeager STI te racing team. Here, most people don't have a comprehension of what is actually occurring in the closed deck block and why it is needed. Here is a demonstration of a stock STI block, uh, semi-closed deck. This is the four, the four uh, bridges here constitutes a semi-closed deck block. What Subaru is trying to do is to minimize the movement of the, of the upper cylinder itself. Uh, without these bridges originally, the cylinder would only be supported here, here, and here. Then Subaru introduced the semi-closed deck block, introducing bridges at the 12 and the 6 o'clock position. Clearly at this point, though, you have areas at the 1.30, uh, 6.30, and, and the 4.30, 10.30 area where the cylinder can start expanding. Uh, under severe pressure, uh, under boosted situation. Notice right here where it's been counter relieved for the, to install the case bolt and have room for a socket. This is the weak area here. If you look at the insert, not machined of course, but you can look at the thickness of the, uh, of the backing of this particular insert, stopping this block from constantly trying to crack open, crack open during high cylinder pressure areas. If a cylinder was to crack, it always cracks at the, uh, at the 7.30, at the 10.30 area, right at these areas. So this is the, the area that we're concentrating on the most. So the object is to fill this area without restricting water flow through the head gasket and the head by, in, by putting an insert in. We've been doing closed deck blocks for since the uh, year 2000, so we've been doing it for about 15 years. Uh, but as demand gets higher, uh, back in the year 2000, STI and semi-closed deck blocks did not even exist at the time. Um, they did have a two-liter closed deck from Japan. Uh, we were trying to mimic that, that, uh, that closed deck block on the EJ257 block. So what we've done is that we've made an insert. Uh, this block is not a finished block. Uh, we left it that way to highlight the areas that have been in, that have been filled in by the closed deck block procedure. This is a uh, this is a cold procedure, so it's not done by welding. It's actually done by a machined uh, a machine billet piece of aluminum that is actually installed into the block under a light press. Uh, the light press helps to maintain any type of expansion and, and adhesion to the insert. What happens is in the in the open deck block, cylinder pressure is exponentially greater at the very top. So we're really trying to concentrate on the first half of an inch to about the first three quarters inch of the block. After that, cylinder pressure drops off exponentially and goes down, and so the pressure is not there. We have found that all cylinder crackings always occur in this air in these areas where it's been relieved for the case set. So what we did was we, we really concentrated on this particular area right here, the thickness of the uh, sleeve uh, or the support in the, in the background at, at these relieved areas of the, of the case. Other people have asked what's the difference between a version 3 and a version 4 closed deck block. Version 3 uh, to date, which has been now over two years, not one person has been able to crack or rupture the cylinder wall of a version 3 block. That's not to say that they, it won't happen out there, but the difference is is that the thickness of the insert uh, on a version three is approximately a half of an inch all the way around. So the so this insert is a half of an inch thick all the way inserted. But on the version four, what we've done is realizing that again these particular prone areas to cracking, what we did was we we milled and made the insert thicker in that particular area, not all the way around. We didn't want to put a three quarter inch slug all the way across. We feel that water around the cylinder is a the better is better than having a big thick chunk of aluminum sitting there. So the thinner that we can get the insert, the better we feel it is as far as cooling properties go. The thicker we get the insert, the stronger it is. So there's a happy medium and the version four block actually takes advantage of a thinner block in the non-critical areas and a thicker insert in the critical areas of the closed deck block. Uh, rating of the closed deck block, because we've never even had a version 3 break at uh, high cylinder pressures, 40 plus pounds of boost, nitrous, those type of things, uh, we don't really know where that limit is, but we, we feel that 700 horsepower would be the limit. Uh, any block above 500 horsepower would benefit any motor 
running at over 500 horsepower would benefit by having the closed deck block procedure. We feel version 3 would be good up to 700 horsepower and version 4 is uh, unknown as far as horsepower limits. Here we have a finished block that has been now decked uh, and you can see the machining work is almost imperceptible as far as where the insert is. If you see a really faint line of the color distinction between one of the cast aluminum and the billet aluminum. In our procedure of installing this insert is that we are not installing it through a press. So we are not stressing the block or taking this insert and pushing it in. Uh, we have a unique method of how we actually install the block, but what what the goal is, is that we're not putting stress across the main bearing saddles by pressing the insert and similar to that what you would see in a sleeve. When sleeves are installed, they're having to be installed with uh, several thousand pounds of pressure in order to keep the sleeve down and tight and that can distort the main cylinder, uh, the, the main bearing saddles that would require uh, line honing on every block. This procedure we feel comfortable that you do not need to have the added expense of line honing. We've also incorporated water slots that that match and mimic both the 08 plus STI gasket as well as the early gasket. Most gaskets are the 07 and earlier but we did want to mimic them so if you're using the W and uh, V heads and so forth that have different water passages in the cylinder head you'll take advantage of that for the maximum cooling advantages.